Welcome to the Southampton 5 in 5. These slides will be looking at how to make the most of an open day. Number one, subject talks. You would have already done your research to find out what courses we offer before you have booked to attend an open day. Go to your subject talks and allow future lecturers and our current students to inform and inspire you. Your subject talk will give you an idea of what it would be like to study here at Southampton. Make sure you have a good look at the programme of the day and download the app to help you plan your visit. You may want to hear more than one subject talk during your visit, so it is important to make a fluid plan, but this could well change. And there are planners available to help you with this. There might be other factors that are really important for you when making your decisions about university. So you may want or need to visit talks about these during your visit too. But the most important focus should be your subject talks. This is an example of all the things you can do on an open day related to electrical and electronic engineering. So it is important you know what is happening to make the most of your day. Some talks and activities run more than once in a day, but some won't. Number two, see the campus and facilities. We are a multi-campus university. We have six UK campuses and one in Malaysia for some of our engineering students. Tour the campus and facilities. Our current students will show you around so you can see the spaces that you may be living and socialising in. It is important you read the information in the programme or any email correspondence that is sent to you regarding open days. This will tell you which campus the talks or activities that you're interested in are taking place at. You may wish to visit more than one campus on the day, so it is worth making a plan of which campus you would like to visit first and consider travel time between campuses and possible queues for the most popular talks. While you are at the campus, this is a really fantastic opportunity to see world class facilities that you will be using as a student. This is important as it may help you to envisage what it is like to be a student here. Number three visit the information fair. The information fair is a great opportunity to talk to lots of different people in one place. This could include admissions tutors, current students studying your subject of interest, university support services and the student union. This is where you will find the answers to lots of your questions. The fair can be busy, so it's useful to make a plan of attack. If you don't have time to see and explore the city, there is also a city life and accommodation zone too. It is important that you prepare and think of specific questions you would like to ask, as the answer to these questions could help to influence the university you decide to go to, as well as the facilities and various other factors that may be important to you. Number four, view the accommodation. University halls provide you with a safe, comfortable home away from home that is excellent value for money in great locations close to campuses and facilities. Visit our student accommodation and view examples of different room types. You can chat to representatives from accommodation in the information fair or attend accommodation talks to find out more about our halls communities. Number five, and relax. Coming to an open day is as much about getting a feel for the place as it is about gathering information. Schedule time to chill out and enjoy the Southampton vibe. You won't regret it. So, our five in five. Number one make sure you visit your subject talks. Number two, tour the campus and facilities. Number three, visit the fair and ask lots of questions. Number four, look around halls to see where you might be living. And number five, relax and enjoy your open day. For more information on how to prepare for virtual open days, please follow this link. Best of luck with your applications.